Howdy, 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 my darling Libra. How are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today, darling, we're gonna get we're going to get into your weekly tarot reading, Libra, for June. All right, darling. So if you enjoy this tarot reading today, Libra, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. If you enjoy this weekly reading as well, be sure to check out your uh, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign, Libra, because that's how you get the most out of consuming uh, general tarot readings on YouTube, darling, or any social media is by getting uh, really customizing it to what's in your chart. All right, darling. So let's just get right into this Libra, darling. All right. If you want to give me some love, darling, give me some love. Support a fellow Libra, honey. All right. So let's get into this for you here, Libra. What is the tea? What's going on with you guys here? All right. What's going on with you guys? Mm -mm. Okay. Knight of Wands, Six of Wands, as well as the Wheel of Fortune coming in here for you. Ooh, all right, Libra, things are about to be spicing up for you. That's the first thing that I'm noticing with this here, Libra. It feels like for you guys, you guys are taking the bull by the horns, darling. All right, honey, y'all have to forgive me, Libra. I consider myself a Texan, honey. All right, I lived in Texas for so many years, so that's the first thing I think about is taking the bull by the horns, darling. All right, I feel like you guys, Libra, you know, y'all have done the manifestations. Y'all have done the cleansings. Y'all have <laughs> taken like the spiritual route with so much much right you've given a lot of your faith to karma to your spiritual team darling right you've given your all to your faith i feel and now i feel like it's for you libra you're taking matters into your own hands now all right you're realizing that the only way that you're going to be able to change your life change what uh how things are panning out for you currently libra is by disconnecting all right from the, your old habits here you might be finding yourself disconnecting yourself and just uh isolating yourself away from old energies that you used to entertain right because i feel like you're about the business now here libra it feels like for you guys you're just in this place of being like all right it's time for a change time for a change right and so for you guys libra y'all are now just starting to come into like a place of more maturity i am not saying that libra that you're immature prior here but it's like you're you've done the you've done the energy work you've done the magic work all right now you're realizing the only step that has been uh blocking you or that still has been like, like the weakest link here has just been the sense for you of uh cutting away at the knight of wands energy here cutting away at things that are very unstable cutting away at things that have consistently uh challenged like uh, it's almost as if like you could like if you were to just like be to your own devices without dealing with any type of outside noise libra you would really get a lot done and y'all are finally realizing this libra all right we have as well coming in here the ten of swords so very much so like the been there done that libra your time you've been in this period of struggle uh trying to uh really make the best out of the pains and the traumas that you've dealt with in your life here all right you've done the shadow work i really want to be celebrating my libras that have been doing a lot of shadow work all right and the message that i want to be telling some of you libras is that you may feel as if at this current point in time that you haven't done enough for yourself here all right i'm not gonna lie libra you some of y'all have probably been still in when you're receiving this reading honey you're probably still in this place of feeling a little bit grody or just like in this heaviness the reason why that is is because you just are releasing so much stuff that has just been weighing on your energy weighing on your heart here all right and so this is like a new day for you libra all right you, you guys are finally stepping further into your power but from a much more uh elevated place i feel libra you guys are really ready to start this next chapter in your life here we have the queen of swords darling Ooh, come on now libra all right this queen of swords darling y'all are putting up those proper boundaries here libra y'all are at this place really of where you're just cracking things down all right you no longer are going to allow these energies in that either weigh you down you are putting things in perspective libra it's like you are just taking back your power taking back your power from energies that have been making you feel lesser than all right i don't know why but i just keep on getting like this scenario just like a pokemon evolving if you don't know what pokemon is darling you know we'll just you know replace pokemon with just like ascending darling or awakening to the next phase of yourself here because i keep getting like this message here libra where it's just like remember 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 it's like your spiritual team is wanting you to remember who the heck you actually are all right libra and it's been so hard for you to see who you actually are because you just have been had so much trauma so much pain just like weighing you down 
that's just like really the only thing that you've been able to do is just focus on your healing sometimes just trying to keep your head above water libra all right and now it's time for a change for you libra you guys have you all have realized that you've done the energy work now and you're ready to start claiming more blessings in your life here all right so again i really celebrate you for that you have the ace of swords as well as the ace of wands that stepped forward for you libra this is really powerful because when you as a tarot reader darling all right because i guess i am that's what i am uh as a tarot reader when you see more than one ace coming in together uh i don't know what it is that's been in your head libra that you've been wanting to uh do all right it's definitely like some type of personal idea or passion that you have maybe and i feel like this is something out of completely left field all right you still have like your main hustle but I feel like you guys have like this idea, Libra, where it's just like, you know what? This sounds like it would be a nice, like fun, like side hustle to do here, Libra. All right. So be paying attention to your thoughts. Uh, keep a dream journal around you because with that Ace of Swords, you, you know, you're going to be noticing how you're going to be a lot more open to new ideas now that you've been uh, releasing so much of this heavy weight, so much of this baggage here. Right. I don't know why, but it's feel like the wounded child is the thing that keeps on popping up in my mind. Maybe that's what you got. Y'all have been tending to for quite some time here and now that you've healed a part of that wounded child child for yourself because the journey of healing never ends darling right um you are going to start thinking about these projects these ideas that you normally would not consider beforehand all right i don't feel like you guys have too much experience when it comes to these things that you are freshly dabbling into and then you even have the ace of darling hold up oh <laughs> i was looking at the top of my deck i was like girl why would we just pulled the ace of wands here and so what i want to be saying here libra is just that i see so much success libra and you guys picking up some type of new project you don't have any experience with it i feel this is something completely out of your element but just because it's completely out of your element, just because this is something just very new to you it's like the sense of like just give it time to develop and it would be so successful for you, Libra. All right. Again, I feel like your spiritual team, because they're in this process, Libra, of trying to get you to wake up. All right. To your truest potential, to your highest potential here. It's the thing like, uh, uh, how would I say this? It's like things that normally would never have crossed your mind before are going to start crossing your mind be like hmm you know i never considered having like my own etsy store never considered like you know doing x y and z honor those thoughts libra there's a reason why that's uh coming into your headspace right now because a lot of people make this mistake libra and continuing on with the same thought patterns or the same uh, uh jobs or what have you um when after the fact that they've done a lot of healing and just like continuously have upgraded themselves what has served you maybe like five years ago libra may not be what's going to be serving you in the future now all right in the present libra all right so don't be clinging on to your comfort zone at this time all right don't be clinging on to what you have known so i'm a libra scorpio cusp all right libra so i'll just like make it personal here so you have a better understanding like how you would grasp this message here i've been doing tarot professionally for i don't know how many years now darling all right and so for me personally i started like entertaining new ideas where it's just like you know what i think i would like to asmr channel i think i want to do this all right and so how i would be associating this with being like darling i've never done asmr before tarot and spirituality is my bread and butter honey all right but i do see a lot of success for those that follow in this narrative right if i were to do that asmr channel all right because movement is definitely coming in for you guys all right but it's in the sense of where you know the eight of wands this is the card of experimentation you know think about like that harry potter scene in the early days in the early series i'm not gonna sit here and pretend like i'm some big harry potter fanatic here at libra all right i like me some harry potter but i don't know all the details you know but it's just like in Harry Potter, if you watched it, it's like uh, Harry Potter, Harry is trying to get like their wand and like they have to experiment with a few different wands until Harry finds their wand, right? The one that's meant for them. And so that's very much so you're calling at this point in time, Libra. You're not going to expand your comfort zone by staying in your comfort zone. You want to, this is a time of experimentation and getting rewarded for that experimentation. You know, you just get the benefit here, Libra, and knowing that it's going to be successful by you dabbling into it. All right. 
but you need to give this more time. All right. I don't, you know, I'm not going to sugarcoat this Libra. I don't see this as being like some type of overnight success. All right. You, you know, this is more so one of those things where you need to come at this from an approach where you want to just expand your knowledge. You want to dabble into things that you normally haven't dabbled into. You have the Emperor card as well as the Ten of Cups coming in here. All right. And so it's the sense for you, Libra, of where it's like you're putting a lot of investments into a new project that doesn't seem very promising to anybody else that just seems so out of left field for you. But that's where the fulfillment is for you, Libra. All right. So you guys need to make it a point at this time, Libra, to welcome these new energies, to welcome these new ideas that you have coming on here, because that's literally what's going to get you to the next phase. All right. For whatever it is that you're trying to uh, manifest. For many of you guys, it might be wealth. All right. For others of you, you might be just seeking fulfillment here. All right. All right. But the reason why you have been so uncomfortable and so uh, for some of you Libras, you just like you're craving something more. It's like you eat a salad and you're just like, OK, well, that salad is nice and all, darling, but you want more substance. Right. You want more sustenance than just like eating those greens. All right. I know we're getting into like really weird, random examples, Libra, but that's what I feel like truly is for you here. Now is the time for you to be experimenting because of those experiments, if you give it the time, is going to be extremely successful. Some of you Libras, I always see it in my comments all the time where people are always just typing to me and they're like, Velka, I really want to do what it is that you do. I would love to start my own tarot channel. Darling, do it do it don't expect success overnight don't compare i mean darling like there's so many much there's so many other tarot channels that are much more successful than i am all right but like don't compare like for example like my success and the traction that i get or any other tarot reader gets and consider yourself a failure all right you know you don't want to be comparing yourself because it's like you know we have we've been in the craft for a long time now all right so again, I'm not going to sugarcoat this Libra and be like, oh yeah, darling, if you start your tarot channel, honey, you're going to just have millions of views immediately. Da, 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 da. No, I mean, you could, you could Libra, maybe you're the next, you know, superstar when it comes to tarot, darling, or whatever it is for you. But with that seven of pentacles, 10 of cups and emperor energy, that's literally the epitome of where if you were to take charge and really put, invest all of your energy into these new projects and, uh, you know, you see that seven of pentacles is like planting your seed and for a good harvest you don't plant tomato seeds and expect to wake up tomorrow with tomatoes all right so you have the new moon in Sagittarius luck is on your side right now Libra all right so really just this is the new moons represents new beginnings Libra on top of that you get again get this blessing where it's just like this would be by you getting out of your comfort zone by you dabbling dabbling into these new beginnings like that's where the success is you even got the meerkat card get support from a trusted group of like-minded friends friends here it feels as if by you guys dabbling into these new ideas these new projects libra you are going to be attracting people just because like you don't know anybody now that can help you with your goal when it comes to tarot or whatever all right doesn't mean that you're that's gonna you're not gonna be on alone on this journey the entire time all right by you dabbling into these new ideas these new projects you're going to meet uh people that are going to support you you're going to get into new friendships all right so if you've been noticing like you haven't been able to uh uh have you know get new friendships or connections everything's been very lackluster for you in that way the, how you spice things up is like by dabbling into these new things all right i don't know how else to really put this libra but it's just like y'all are greatly rewarded libra by dabbling into this stuff you are not going to be alone in this in fact this is how you end up meeting more people that are aligned with your energy now all right and that's the reason why y'all haven't been making new friendships or connections or relationships darling libra is because uh you've you have taken everything that you can take you've harvested everything that you could harvest from your current comfort zone and now it's time to continue on move into a new space all right libra so doesn't mean you quit what it is that you're currently doing but you need to expound you like expand yourself more delve into more products that are more fulfilling for you all right we have been in this hustle culture where it's just like if you're not able to make immediate payment out of it more money out of it then it's a waste of time and that's just not the case libra all right so don't fall into that trap of feeling like you always have to um 
make something a monetary gain if you're going to put energy into it. It could just be purely starting out as a passion project. That's how you connect to more people that you resonate with, that click with you. And then maybe sometime down the road, it'll be extremely profitable. For many of you guys, it will be, all right? But don't go into that place where you feel like you need to have an immediate profit for it uh, for it to be worth your energy. All right, Libra? So that's the tarot reading that I have for you, darling. Hopefully this reached to the people that it needed to reach, Libra. If you want to book a private reading with me, my website's linked down below, simplyvelka.com. If you want to um, also follow me on my social medias, TikTok and Instagram, both just being Simply Velka, same as here, darling. All right, Libra. So hopefully I can connect with you sometime in the near future. Uh, and if you haven't heard it today, Libra, I love you so much, darling. All right. And I'll connect with you sometime in the near future. Bye, Libra.